Welcome to this little quick lesson on limits. So before I actually start explaining what limits are, I'd like to highlight the importance of actually learning about limits and having a proper grasp on the concept of limits. Because uh, you'll be surprised, a lot of uh, calculus students actually don't have a, a full grasp on the concept of limits. And uh, that's really surprising because limits are fundamentally the basis of all of calculus derivatives integrals all that stuff is really based on limits the concept of limits so it's essential to understand limits in order to be uh, successful in the course and just for math in general so uh what is a limit a limit can be understood as a wall and um it really just is a value that you can get closer and closer to but you can never really achieve the value now let me explain what i mean but before i do that i'd like to explain through actually giving an analogy so imagine this right here is you whoops excuse me well let's imagine this right here is you and you're walking across a bridge and you find out that the bridge is actually broken so you you could walk closer and closer and closer to the bridge and you can get so close, but you can't really stand in the middle where the bridge is broken because guess what? You'll fall down. So you can get closer and closer. And that's really the same idea behind limits because you could move in, you could move forward an inch or half an inch and even smaller, just small incremental values. And you can get closer and closer to the, to the, to the crack, but you really can't stand there because there's nothing over there. And if you do stand, you'll fall. So similarly, the concept of limits suggests the same. You know, you can get a number that is closer and closer, but never actually the value of the limit because it just simply does not exist. As we saw, the, the bridge did not exist at that specific point. So that's why you would actually fall over there. And limits are just exactly the same. And uh, you can kind of see limits on a graph. So let's take this um, equation right, or this formula right here as an example. f of x is equal to x minus 4 over x minus 4. Now you might think to yourself, you know, um, anything over itself is equal to 1. So, for example, if you, had, if you had 5 over 5, that would be equal to 1. So if you think to yourself, x minus 4 over x minus 4 is equal to 1, you would be right except not really because you would um you really wouldn't consider the fact that if you were to plug in the value of four for x what's going to happen is you're actually going to get four minus four over four minus four and once you get zero in the denominator that just doesn't work mathematically so really this is equal to one as long as you can add the exception that x is not equal four so this kind of this kind of concept is really where the limit kind of comes into play. And if we look at this on a graph uh, right here, which is the graph of this, of this formula or this function, um, it shows that it's the same thing as what I said before, where f of x is equal to 1. So we see a straight horizontal line running through 1, except at the point of where x is equal to 4. And where, what we see over here is that there is a discontinuity. And uh, this discontinuity this over here is, is really where we'll see the idea of limits come to play. So what's going to happen is you can see that if you, approach, um, if you approach this specific value over here, if you approach this place over here from the, from the left side, you're going to be approaching the... Vi so, do, so don't forget that uh, the limits really are... Whenever we talk about limits, we're referring to the y value. So the limit over here would be 1. Because as you're approaching from the left side, as you're approaching from the left side over here, you're approaching the y value of 1. And that's really the same for this whole thing, but it, it, con it goes to show the same concept. And if you're approaching from the right side, you're also approaching the same value, which is 1, the same y value. And... What's, what's key to understand is that because this place does not exist inside this formula, 
as we saw over here, actually putting four inside would make it would it make it have a zero in the denominator. So that does not exist. It's a it's a discontinuity. So you can't actually have it equal to four. You can't actually have the y value or the x value equal to four because it's not defined at that point. This function is not defined. But it is defined for any other value around 4. So if we put in 3.9 or 4.1, it's going to give us 1 over here and over here is what we'll be talking about. So as we get closer and closer, no matter how close we are to 4, it could be 3.9999 or really as many as you want. You're going to have a value of 1 and you can do that from this side as well. You can do 4.00001. You're still going to have a value of 1. So that is the limit over here. And the notation for that is the limit of f of x, which we're referring to this equation right here, as x approaches whatever value we have. And over here, it's 4. And that limit is, as we discussed earlier, it's 1. So when actually figuring out limits, there's one key thing to understand, and it's that the limit actually has to be the same from the left and the right, as we were talking about earlier. So if you look over here, it's approaching the same y value of 1 from both sides. And that's that's really important for a limit to actually exist. And this is this complicated looking uh, thing right here for someone might actually be really simple because that's really all it's saying. Um, it's just saying that the limit of f of x, the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left, so this negative just signifies from the left, is equal to the limit as x approaches, the limit as x approaches 4 from the right. And, and basically what that's saying is you can't really have, so if we actually were to have a graph over here, and um, you can't really have a, a limit looking like this, all right? So if you kind of had a graph like this, you could say that the limit as f of x, so this respective function, x as limit of f of x as x approaches, let's say, I don't know, 3, approaches 3 from the left is equal to 1 because that's where it is right here. So you could say as the limit approaches x, uh, as, as x approaches 3 from the left, so 3 from the left hand side, is going to be 1. But as the limit of this function, as f of x approaches um, 3, the same value from the right, is going to be 2. As you can see over here, that's 2. So basically what that's saying is it's not equal from both sides, and therefore the general overall limit as x approaches 3 does not exist. It just does not exist because they have to approach the same value from both sides and that's really just the concept of limits in a very quick way explained and really simplified